We also have a look this week at hog markets with University of Missouri's Ron Plain. U.S. pork exports have started the year strong, and Ron says a big part of the credit goes to Asia. Shipments to China and Hong Kong during the first quarter were up 164 percent from the first quarter of 2015. Exports to Japan, the second largest destination behind Mexico for the time period, were up 14 percent. We talked with Ron Tuesday afternoon about foreign demand, feed prices for U.S. producers, and market prices over the last few weeks. Ah, we're doing well, Jeff. Uh, prices have uh, moved uh, steadily higher for the last month or so. Seasonally, that tends to happen this time of year. We're looking at uh, uh, prices for bears and gilts in the terminal markets on a live weight basis in the uh, high 40s and carcass prices for plant delivered to hogs uh, around $74 per hundred weight. What have producers experienced for per head profit margins? Well, uh, so far, it's kind of typical. We lost some money uh, uh, late last year and the start of this year, but April profits came in around $9 per head, and the outlook is that that should improve. Normally, the best profits uh, come during the summer months. Yeah, what impacts profitability here for those producers over the rest of 2016? Well, uh, uh, Corn prices, of course, the big uh, cost of raising hogs is feed, 60, 65 percent typically. So uh, good summer weather and a good corn crop. Uh, USDA says we might have a record corn harvest this fall. If so, that's going to keep down uh, production costs. And then, of course, hog prices is the single big, most important thing. Uh, expectation is that uh, carcass prices will move uh, uh, higher uh, this summer and fairly strong yet this fall. So the outlook is that that we might make a little bit more money this year than we did last year. I should ask about pork production overall. What are the estimates as to how much we'll churn out for the rest of this year? Well, USDA is uh, forecasting about 2% more pork this year than last year, and then a 2.6% increase next year. Uh, that's a little bit faster than long-term trend, but if we do have uh, uh, another record corn crop and low feed costs, uh, that may uh, stimulate uh, production. And the other thing, we've got some new slaughter plants coming online, and certainly uh, that's going to take uh, hogs to operate those plants. Let's talk about pork exports. In the first quarter, they're up 5% from a year ago. Where's that increase in demand coming from? Uh, mostly Asia. Uh, China, Hong Kong, Japan are the three big growth areas for U.S pork exports thus far this year. Uh, we didn't do all that well in exporting to Japan last year, so it's kind of a rebound there. Uh, China is so, something of a hit and miss location right now. Their pork production is down and, and they're importing uh, more pork, and that's good news for U.S. hog farms. How does that go in China between the U.S. and the European Union as far as trying to gain market share in that nation? Uh, well, uh, the European Union did very well last year. They gained a lot of market share in uh, the Asian market, particularly the Chinese market. And a lot of that has to do with exchange rates. The uh, uh, dollar has been strong against the euro. A strong dollar makes U.S. products expensive for foreigners. And uh, the weaker euro has made uh, European pork more competitive in places like China and Japan. How do you think the dollar will move over the near term? Well, so far this year, the trend is encouraging. We're down about 5 to 10 percent in value of the dollar uh, from the peak at the start of the year. Hopefully, we can see that soften a bit more. That will be very good for all U.S. exporters, and uh, agriculture is a big export industry, so hopefully a bit weaker as we move on through 2016. Okay, finally, how do you believe market prices will move here as we enter summer? Well, seasonally, you can usually count on the high price for the year sometime in early summer. Uh, we probably got another month or so of higher prices. Once you get to Labor Day, prices normally start to decline. Right now, we're expecting probably a little bit higher prices in the fourth quarter of this year than we had last year. So, it's shaping up to be a pretty good year here in 2016.